Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually going to do a commentary video for the first time. I'm quite excited for this. And we're also going to play slash review the CB9030 and I'll give you my opinion on it and I'll tell you if I think it, if it's worth it or not. So what is there to say about this tank? It's f***ing terrible. So here's how you actually play the damn thing. So step one, you spawn it, right? You do that with any vehicle. Step two, you make it to the battlefield. You do that in any vehicle. And step three, you get deatomized by a T-55. That's it. Perhaps I was too harsh on the thing. I mean, at its PR, it's usable, but it's not great. There's a lot of things, 0.3 higher than you are better, 0.7 such as the Puma, or the Bean P2M, or the Dardo. So you usually get outgunned by those guys. Here's a great example of exactly that. Hi! Another thing that bothers me about this vehicle is that, despite its decent horsepower per ton ratio, its acceleration is actually pretty poor. You'll struggle to keep up with MVTs on your team, and for a light vehicle, it's laughably slow, actually. Remember, just because I say it's not good doesn't mean you can't get kills with it. Of course, if you use it correctly, it's still potent in the right hands and you can still do well. The only problem is, if you were in any other vehicle, you'd probably just get more kills and do better. In this particular match, I was able to rack up a couple kills here and there, which felt nice, but that'll end abruptly. You gotta watch out for those World War II planes, I, I know bro, they will f*** you up without you even realizing it. Of course, against other light vehicles, it absolutely shreds them, but anything heavily armored is gonna kill you. So I get rocket rushed by this heli, and he somehow manages to miss almost every single rocket and I'm unscathed. I don't understand how you manage that at that range, but he did somehow. <laughs> I like it, cut you. This is what I mean when I say the CB9030 is outclass. I push this BMP3, I hit the first shot of him. I aim center mass, his shield tank absorbs most of the spall, which means he can then fire back at me with his gun that fires a whole 130 RPM faster than me. And if he really wants to, he can launch a missile. Oh, and did I mention? He's 8.7 and on 9.0? Yeah. I end up shooting this Type 16 like 3-4 times in the barrel. He somehow can still shoot and he gets my horizontal. Damn. I don't get why Gaijin decided to curse me, but I can only get three kills in this goddamn thing. If you guys enjoyed this video so far, consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. And let me know in the comments if you enjoy my commentary, okay? This is what it's like playing this thing. I feel like I've been too negative this video, so let's show some positive gameplay. I will say the commander thermals are a very nice thing to have at this BR. This is why you don't jump off cliffs. Whatever you do, never jump off cliffs in this game. You almost always end up on your ass like this. Thankfully I did have a nice TAM teammate who got me back up. So might be saying, this gameplay doesn't look too bad. I mean, I don't get why you're saying it's so bad, right? Well, let me just show you what I can do in a Puma instead of this thing.
Ready? The game I'm showing you right now is actually pretty dang good. I managed to get a few kills and I survived a decent while. Also, sorry if I sound very monotone, that's just how I sound. So just bear with me. So there's two enemy tanks posted up on the objective, capping it, and my friendly rod comes back and flanks them and gets a collateral shot on them, which was really nice. I got a little too aggressive here and I pushed this guy and I paid the price for it, so that's on me. You stupid. My main goal is to blow up. guys that's it for this video thank you for watching this far if you did and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content like this and let me know in the comments of what you thought i'll probably show you a picture of the microphone here so you can see what i'm working with it's not the best it was only like a 56 dollar microphone but it i think the audio quality is pretty like pretty good so let me know what you think of that man fuck this game i'm gonna go play angry birds bro